Hey, I'm Mechanical Engineer, and these are my under cabinet LED lights. Under cabinet lighting is one of the newer trends in kitchen renovation because it helps give any kitchen a lot more personality, increases visible counter space, and looks pretty cool at night. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install your own under cabinet lighting for less than 30 bucks. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get an LED light strip. I'm using blue LEDs because I think it'll look really cool. And I'll leave a link in the description below for the ones I'm using. But of course, they come in all sorts of different colors. Now that we have our LEDs, we're going to want to stick them to the bottom center of all the cabinets we want to light up. However, there is one small problem. As you can see, there's a lip where the different cabinets connect. Plus, I also want to light up the cabinet that's on the other side of the microwave. So what I'm going to do is measure how much uninterrupted space we have underneath each cabinet. Cut off pieces of the LED strip that match that length. And then solder all the strips back together into one piece using enough wire as is necessary to both overcome the microwave and the cabinet joints. Just like this. And as you can see, I soldered power leads on to the end closest to the microwave. And if your microwave isn't that close, then just direct the wires to the nearest electric appliance that you have. For instance, a refrigerator or a garbage disposal. Now, of course, if you don't feel like doing all the soldering, you could put this on as one solid piece. However, parts of it would stick out relatively low and be visible from standing height. But regardless of what you choose to do, once you have the LEDs ready, we can begin to remove the adhesive and stick them to the bottom center of the cabinets using just a little bit of hot glue to help secure them in place. And now we're going to go back through with the hot glue gun, only this time tucking in the wires and gluing them in place to make sure they stay hidden. And with that, you shouldn't be able to see a thing. So now I'm going to take a 12 volt power switch and solder it onto the positive lead of our LED strip. And then hot glue the button to the bottom side of the cabinet, basically anywhere that's out of sight and easily accessible. I'm now going to solder on two more wires, one to the other lead of the power button and the other to the other lead of the LED strip. Drill two small holes into the cabinet just large enough for the power wires to be able to fit through. One at the front corner of the cabinet right next to the microwave. And the second in the middle of the cabinet connecting both the side and top cabinet together. Now we'll just run the wires through the holes into the top cabinet, making sure to glue them in place in the corner so we can't see them. Just like that. Now the reason why we led those wires up to the top shelf is because as you can see, there's a hidden outlet up there for the microwave. So all we have to do now is take a 12 volt wall adapter that you can find at any thrift store, or if you want to buy one new, I'll leave a link below, and we'll solder these onto the wires, making sure to use heat shrink tubing and also to solder positive to positive and negative to negative. And then after we close up the heat shrink and plug in the adapter, everything is complete and ready to be tested. To test them, all we have to do is turn off the lights, then hit the LED power button. Something that's super cool about these lights is since we just hot glued them in place, they'll be very easy to swap out or get rid of completely if we ever want to. But at the same time, as long as you avoid picking at them, they should also last for years to come. Another thing that's really cool about these lights is they're essentially invisible. When they're off, you wouldn't even know they were there unless I told you. The only way you could see them is when you crouch down, and even then you have to go somewhat low. I'm quite happy with how these lights turned out, because as you can see, it lights up the counter nicely, but at the same time, it's more of a subtle glow than it is a bright light. Fun fact, I actually installed these lights in my mom's kitchen without asking while she was gone. So let's see how she reacts. And there you have it, how to build under cabinet lighting for less than 30 bucks. But hey, thank you so much for you guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Logo, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.